Hi everyone, this is Eric with VVALTO.com and today's video is on an adequate uh, report criteria form for your access report. So we're going to have the, the parameters for your report basically on a, a form, a start date and an end date that's going to appear before the report appears. So it's let me demonstrate what we have here make sure you come on out to vbahowto.com and you can get the get this database which is going to show you the the code it's going to help you a lot it's going to be a better under, more understandable to you and make sure you like and subscribe to the video it's like it subscribe to the channel to get more information whenever I release a video when I release it okay start date it's gonna be just a random date and I'm just gonna choose one date here I have some dates already in here and these are uh, order dates and this video is a result of a question that came in from an individual that had a question about uh, how to create one of these type of reports and I figured more most y'all would have a, a question or somebody would have a question about this and so anyway the hence the video and the example here so I have a start date and an end date um, start date 913 and date 103 okay bang okay and I have my my report that comes out And it's the date between uh, between 9:13 and 10:3. Of course, it shows my start date and end date here. And this report shows me information about POs that were submitted during the time of between 9:13 and 10:3. So this one, 921, as you can see, you scroll through the report here. And it's all generic information. Okay, so how did I go about doing this? So if I close this without closing the video down. Okay, well, first of all, before the report is actually generated, I have a show you behind the scenes of this report I'm in VBA <clears throat> in the VBA editor I'm going ahead and saying report open whenever the report opens I have I'm running I'm open I'm saying open up the parameter the report parameters form and the report parameters form is right uh, right here open to this form and this form again has all my all my start dates and all my end dates it's basically the same field and it's all being populated uh, by a, a, the table uh, the purchase order table <clears throat> purchase order table these dates right here are the dates that they were ordered and it's back to 2014 but I'm not really worried about that right now Okay, so back to VBA. So, open up that form as a dialog box so it shows up before the report shows up. So, it displays itself and it does not hide itself until I interact with that with that form. So, if the report per, the open of the, the opening of the report is prevented until I deal with whatever the whatever that form is that's a dialog box in front of me and if I choose cancel on that on that form I use the is loaded function and it goes down here is loaded I'm using a, a system command um, to get the get the object state of the form this form whatever form I'm passing to it as an argument 
is loaded it's determining whether the form is loaded or not and if it's not loaded if I click cancel well it's not loaded so I'm gonna cancel out the report the the report opening so it's not gonna not gonna open at all okay so and here I'm on the report param the uh, that form it's real simple one button I close it and one button I set it as vis visible equal to false now with that the form is still open but you just can't see it so it goes behind the scenes so that's a real real key point right here the visible equals false all right so and then let's see if there's anything of note on there oh yeah whenever whenever i close the report then i'm closing that little parameter box okay so i'm closing the little parameter box whenever the form the report closes itself and that's about all this is very simple to do and oh i don't i do want to point out that this uh, it's it's some of the some of the properties for this okay I'm going to design view of this and I'm going to open up this screener yes because I wanted to show up on the screen I'm actually the database is on because I have I've had um, these type of parameter boxes show up on that I've, I've I haven't set, made the setting and they parameter box shows up on some screen and I'm like it doesn't work well it did but, you, but it did show it up on the wrong screen so I wanted to show up on the screen that the database is on centered and so I set this property auto centered yes and then record selectors no navigation button no uh, no scroll bars either so I'm taking all that off and if I want to actually make this um, and okay to take it off something some other than the generic name of the form uh, the name of the form on the as a caption so I'm the enter day perimeters below is better okay and uh, if I look at this it looks nice Remember, enter date parameters below and bang oh and save it another thing here this is very important the record source of the report did I not say that so the record source of this report is a SQL statement and uh, the uh, SQL statement we have at the very bottom here the order date okay between whatever's in the what, remember I set the the form to be the visible false well if I run this as a basic parameter query so I run this it's gonna say this but what is the parameter of that six one or six eleven um, 14 and, and again this is really cumbersome trying to type all this stuff and then if I do that I get I get the uh, the, the result for, for between those two ranges control W I'm closing it okay so here I'm doing a shift F2 okay shift F2 give it a zoom box if you didn't know it now you did it's the uh, same as zoom it's just a that's a faster way of doing it and I'm making this so I can read it between whatever is the first date and whatever is the last date okay that so I can that says dual purpose is for the for the record source of that report 
and also for the for the for the text box that shows you what the, the what the criteria range is. So uh, by me setting as visible equals false, I can read I can read from this place twice. Okay. And just basic queries here. All right. That's about all. Again, let's see. Five, two. Uh oh, I chose cancel. Okay. So, uh, and I'm going to show you this too because I just can't get away from it. Um, if I decide, oh, I don't really want to run the report right now, so I choose cancel, and the thing goes away. Remember, the cancel equals true. You could program those those little arguments and utilize them for your for your programming needs. Again, nine this to this bang and that's the result so there you have it folks the an access form per parameter query with the start date and an end date bringing up a report bringing up a report showing a value up here in the the criteria showing the criteria and this text box whatever the report is based on and giving your results based on that criteria as well so hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions about the video uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments below go ahead and leave your uh, leave your question in the comments below and also leave me a if you have a quite specific questions or um, but leave them in the comments below too. Come on out to vbahowto.com. Uh, you can get the uh, the you can see get the database for this particular video and also the the code that uh, I use for this. So thanks thanks for watching and your attention and I will talk to you soon.